everybody, this is your boy Destination Gamer. I'm back in this piece with another video. <sighs> find out today, folks. Just find out today, along, as along with everybody else, that Morinello will no longer be with WWE. He has parted ways away from WWE and he's going to do his own thing. Now, the reports that came in, according to the reports, He's, you know, he's he's battling illness himself, and he's also battling um, dealing with issues with his mom. His mom's battling illness, so I hope and pray for both of them, and hopefully they they're okay. And hopefully they get better soon. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep it real with y'all. I'm gonna make this a short and sweet video for you guys. Um, but NXT is not gonna be the same without Moro Ranello. I'm just gonna keep it real with you, okay? Moro Ranello, when he signed on to the WWE, the fans were so thrilled even me when i heard he was signed to the wwe because his voice is he is like one of the best one of the one of the best commentators in all the sports like when he does mma he hypes up the fight and his favorite and his favorite quote mama mia i love that about morinello morinello has he gives his passion and his awe and his thrill and his drive for anything to make sure that somebody who is watching at home make it feel memorable, make it feel like it's a classic, make it feel like it is awesome, it's beautiful. It's, it's just absolutely amazing. Now that he's away from WWE, a lot of questions have been asked. Is he going to AEW? Where is he going? Like, where is he going whenever he does get better and when he gets healthy? Because a lot of people have basically said the same thing. How long you think that Jim Ross is going to be doing commentary? How long you think Tony Schiavone is going to be doing commentary? We don't know. Both of these men could retire any day now, especially JR. And I love JR. I love listening to JR and his drive and his passion as well. But JR is getting up there. He's up there. Now, I can see AEW getting Marwanello and have Marwanello along with, you know, with him and Tony Schiavone, or it could just be uh, Marwanello with Excalibur. Or even that, it could be Marwanello and Taz. Now, I can listen to, listen to that. That right there is what I can listen to. Marwanello and Taz. That's a pretty cool commentary group. Jim Ross, I'm, to me, is like what everybody else say. His great creation and his mind can be so great on, on with, when it comes to creativity and scouting talents in AEW. That, to me, I think that would be really cool, be really awesome. So, if that happens, it happens. But all that I would say is that I wish more of a no, nothing but the best. Um... Hopefully, you know, he, he get better very soon because he's he's one of the best commentators in all the sports. So why would you not sign him? You know what I'm saying? So NXT is not going to be the same, man. I mean, I don't care. It's not going to be the same. The takeovers is certainly not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. All of the Gargano versus Adam Cole matches, Ciampa versus uh, Gargano, um... It's, it's plenty of matches, plenty of matches that more Vanilla had took over there. It's not really going to be the same anymore. Can you imagine more Vanilla actually being there for, for, you know, for NXT with the Finn Balor versus Adam Cole versus Ciampa versus Gargano matchup in a fatal four-way 60-man Iron Man match? Can you imagine more of just commentary that? Bro, that would be absolutely awesome. Because he makes the match more awesome than what it already is. So, like I said, prayers up for Moro Vanello, man, and his family. Hopefully, they'll be better very soon. So, that's going to be ending this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy, Destination Gaming, saying peace.